check out that ramen broth. If you didn't think it was possible to make ramen at home, believe my friends, we are gonna make an epic bowl of ramen noodle soup. Okay guys, we're gonna tackle ramen noodle soup today. We're gonna do a shoyu style. So shoyu simply means soy sauce and this is gonna be a soy sauce chicken based ramen broth soup that we're gonna make. So first up, there's a couple of things we wanna to do to get our broth really flavorful and tasty and that kind of restaurant style depth of flavor. Uh, and the first thing we wanna do is deal with our chicken wings. Now, the thing with any kind of broth or when you're using bones for broth, the smaller the pieces that you can get them into, the more it will release flavor and gelatin from the bones and all those good things. So take your chicken wings, just slice through the joints so that you've got three pieces rather than the one big large one. Got a whole big bowl of those here. So to kind of speed up the flavor process for our stock, I'm actually gonna roast these first. So that's gonna create like a browning and a Maillard reaction on the outside of the chicken. And it's that browning, that stuff there, that's the flavor we want in our soup. And then I want some carrots as well. And now let's get these guys started with some salt. Find that with broths, the more that you can layer flavor and seasoning, the better it will become. And then a little bit of oil just to get things started. Just give those a good mix. And I want to roast these in a hot oven for about 45 minutes or an hour until we get a really beautiful deep brown color. Now let's take a look at our chicken and carrot and you can see the beautiful golden color we've got on that chicken. That is all flavor, my friends. Awesome. So I'm gonna get this onto a heat and I just wanna heat this up until it's sizzling. Now this part is all about making sure we don't leave any of that beautiful browning behind on the pan. I'm gonna deglaze the pan with a little bit of water and now wait for that to start bubbling again. And now what you wanna be doing is getting your spatula or your wooden spoon and really scraping up everything from the bottom of the pan. The water will help you and the heat will help you, but don't leave any of that flavor behind. Now, if you have a look, that liquid is a beautiful golden color already. So now that we've got all the bits and pieces off the bottom of the roasting tin, now we're gonna get into our stock pot and start that broth going. So I wanna get my chicken and that carrot into my pot. Now just take your pan and pour all of that delightful liquid over your chicken. And now for our aromatics. These are the special ingredients that are gonna make our shoyu ramen broth super special. To start off with, we have kombu, which is dried seaweed. You can grab this at an Asian grocer or a Japanese supermarket. Now this is one of the essential ingredients for a traditional Japanese ramen broth. It's gonna give us like a background savory flavor and a deep depth of flavor to our broth. Keeping on the same umami track, we've got some dried shiitake mushrooms and some spring onion for some nice aroma. And then I've got some garlic here. I've just sliced a whole head of garlic in half. That's gonna go in. And then some slices of ginger. Now top that up with some more water. And now we add in the shoyu or the soy sauce. Give that a stir. And now one of my big tips for making a really beautiful clear broth is to make sure that you don't simmer this too hard. We want a nice gentle simmer for about three hours. And every so often while it's simmering, just take a spoon and take off any of the sort of white foamy bits and pieces that rise to the top. All right, see you in three hours. Three hours later and we did in the meantime have a wardrobe malfunction with some pork and some hot oil. Anyway, I'm fine, but the dress is not fine. So we've changed. <laughs> We do things by the book here. We're not swapping in and out. As you know, it's all for real. So anyway, let's get back to our ramen broth. And I'm gonna save these beautiful shiitake mushrooms, which are now lovely and rehydrated, and we can slice those up and use them in the soup. Oh, and this broth is smelling so amazing. I can't even tell you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull out all these big pieces of aromatics and the seaweed. Take those out first. And then just to make it easier to strain, I'm just gonna start taking out these chicken pieces as well. And a slotted spoon's gonna help you out here. So the thing with this chicken is that it's been in here for three hours, right? And all of its beautiful flavor has gone into our broth, which is great. Uh, but it does mean that the chicken itself, that chicken meat, kind of doesn't have much flavor. You can totally go ahead and shred it and eat it or add it to your, your noodle soup but I tend to find it has lost a lot of 
it's really good flavour. It's okay because my mum is here filming with me today so she will happily take all of it home because you know Asian mums, they never waste anything. <laughs> okay, so this is looking good. I've got most of my chunky bits out and I'm going to strain this through a fine mesh sieve. So if you don't have a really fine sieve at home, you might find that your broth has uh, quite a few particles in it. If that's the case, just put down a cheesecloth or a coffee filter and run the broth through that as well. I mean, it's got nothing to do with the flavor. You can totally just leave it as it is. But if you want a restaurant style crystal clear broth, that's what you need to do. But this one's looking good because we've got a very fine mesh strainer here. Now, if you're a very patient person, which I generally am not when it comes to food, and we've already been simmering our broth for like three hours, uh, you would put this into the fridge overnight and then that would solidify the fat on the top of the broth and you could just scoop it off but I have a little trick to taking the fat off without having to wait so if you use some paper towel and then just rest it on the top of your broth paper towel will soak up most of the oil and the fat on the top just do that a couple of times now look at that most of the fat and the oil is gone and we are ready to serve this guy up Okay, so now we've got a really great ramen broth. I'm gonna just take enough that I need for the two bowls that I'm gonna make today, because the rest I'm gonna save for later. This freezes really well. So I'm gonna let this broth come back up to a simmer. I want it really nice and hot. While it's doing that, I'm just gonna mix together a little seasoning. So I've got some soy sauce here, and I wanna mix in some mirin. So that's a Japanese cooking wine, a little bit sweet. So let's have a taste and see what we need to do here. Mm. This is such a complex broth. It's just, you know, you've got the beautiful savory flavors. I can taste that chicken and all those background flavors like the spring onion and the ginger and the dried shiitakes. Oh, so good. Okay, it does need seasoning though. So I'm gonna add in quite a bit of my seasoning sauce that I've made. And you can just do this to taste. So everyone likes a different level of saltiness and this is something that you can adjust on your own. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of just plain regular salt as well. I don't wanna darken the broth too much, but I do need some extra oomph in there. Mm. Now that is tasting perfect, lovely. So I've got my ramen noodles here and I'm gonna ladle over that hot soup. Oh, look at the color of that amazing broth. So special. And now you can top this with a whole manner of different things. I happen to have some chashu pork or slowly braised pork belly that I made the other day. Now I've got a video on this on my YouTube channel so you can check it out if you're interested in making it. So just put a slice of that on there. And I've got some of those sliced shiitakes, a little bit of spring onion. And then to me, ramen is not ramen without an egg. Oh, there we go. This is one comforting bowl of heaven. I can tell you that right now. Restaurant style, restaurant quality, show you ramen at home. You can totally make it. It takes a little time, but it's not difficult. And the results are oh, so good. Mm. Got to do the noodle slurp. Oh, and the soup. Oh, that flavor, I'm telling you, oh, it's so good. You actually could believe you were eating this in a restaurant. You guys are gonna love this one. Oh. oh. Are oh. you finished? I'm finished, I'm finished. Yeah? Yeah. You pick up the... what, what are you you're gonna take those, aren't you? Yes. I knew you were gonna take those. Yes. I told yes. everyone you were gonna take those. Yes. <laughs> you can take them if you want. Yeah, finish now. Okay, well I'll eat the noodles, you you eat the chicken. I'll finish now. <laughs> If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.